Hello and welcome to Dillon Gymnasium. That's right, Dillon Gymnasium, not Jadwin Gymnasium as we bring you coverage of Princeton University Tigers basketball. It will be the 1-0 Princeton Tigers taking on St. Peter's in the first game in Dillon Gym since 1969. Most of some of our guys live like five feet from here, so to play a game here is a really important thing for our, for our team. And, and just this, the pure sense of uh, being a little closer to all in the middle of campus. All right, first number three, one, two, three. Listen, that is a <laughs> tremendous jacket. Black and orange pinstripe look, but also the story behind the jacket. It's actually the class of uh, 83's like reunions jacket. Reunions is a big deal here, so um, you know, a present. Well, I, I borrowed it from somebody. That, you know, it's um, that's a cool looking jacket, I think. And I, don't know, I thought it was in the spirit of the uniforms we had on tonight. Keep everything in line, and then when the ball's next to the rim, for them. Straight up. Have the discipline to stay straight up. Be physical with your chest. Your fires are quick and right in there right away. Right? Okay. Excited to watch you play. Excited to watch you play and root like hell for each other. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Tires. Get it, boy. Here we go. As it'll be Quadir Welton tipping it off, and we are underway here. As Cook all the way up and in after the winning of the tap, Tigers take a 2-0 lead. Weiss trying to lose his defender, gets it back, lays it up and in. There it is, and Coach Carrill looking on courtside, happy with the give and go backdoor action. Bell, left-handed dribble, crossing over, laying it up wow. and in. Amir <laughs> Bell. One point lead for the Tigers. Brennan catching at the low block left side. Forbes, a three ball, got it, Jackson Forbes. Forbes launches another three and connects. Jackson Forbes, back to back threes for the Texas native at 17-12. Princeton out in front by five. As Forbes will line up a three, that's good. Jackson Forbes on fire. <laughs> He's feeling it. And he's feeding off the emotion of the crowd. He, he loves the student section out front. They're cheering him on. He's three for three. Down low, Pete Miller lays it up and in. Miller certainly under the microscope with the injury to Hans Brace. He scores there. Weiss trying to bang with his man right of the lane. Trying to go at Patterson. Count it, plus the foul. <laughs> they work it to the block for Pete Miller. Miller going against Desport. Tries to lay it up, does so. Pete Miller. And John Dunn pumps his fist angrily. Three-point game. Caruso driving and scoring. Henry Caruso with those long strides getting to the rim. Five-point edge for Princeton. Candy, two, one, lets it go. No good. And that will end the first half. So the Tigers will go into the half here, up by three, 34 to 31. Bell what a move. tries to finish, he can't. Loose ball up in the air, grabbed by the Tigers for a moment. Caruso lays it up and in. Henry Caruso and John Dunn wants a timeout. Tough break there for St. Peter's, a fortuitous bounce for the Tigers. Defensively, we do not want to get into the bonus. Solid, solid, solid. You have to go, ready, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, five. Here we go, boys. Cook driving, left-handed layup is good. Stephen Cook pushing the lead to seven at 41 to 34. Hop step layup good, Henry Caruso. Tigers working the ball around the arc. Now Caruso driving and scoring. Henry Caruso, this is the man we saw throughout much of the season, really starting his run around Thanksgiving this time last year. 
Kennedy to the foul line. Now Bell will try a three. That's good. Amir wow. Bell hitting the three. The lead out to nine for Princeton. Caruso finds Miller. Miller is blocked by Welton at the rim. Boone out. Layup counted. So Boone with a bucket. It's a four point game, 61 57. Caruso oh. counted plus the foul. Henry Caruso getting it done. He is not afraid to mix it up down low. Outside for Patterson. Patterson driving. Tough layup. Got it to go. Chaz Patterson gets it to go. Timeout called with 14 seconds left to go. It is a two-point game. 71 to 69. Missed it. Caruso has it with 1.4 left. He is fouled. And Caruso will head back down the court. Second one is good. 75-72. Welton. Let's see if he'll toss it down. Welton throws it towards the middle of the court. Hawkins launches it. No good, and that'll do it. The Tigers survive 75 to 72 with a victory here in Dillon Gym in front of the fans tonight to open up the 2015-16 home campaign for the Tigers. They grab a win and now are 2-0 on the year. This was a long time in the making for us, four years of trying to get this to happen and John, I want to first thank St. Peter's for being willing to play a game in the Dillon Gym, you know, a place where you haven't played college basketball for, for 46 years. You know, it was a lot of different moving parts, and John was willing to move the game to a later start. He was willing to sort of, you know, shrug his shoulders and say, hey, look, let's, let's do this. I have to credit Caruso for his ability to stay cool in pressure situations. Yeah, and that two big free throws came up and he sunk both of them. It was great to uh, come back to Dillon and play. I, I know it meant so much to coach and, uh, just even so many, seeing so many guys uh, that play before us come back that we really look up to. I mean, obviously seeing Coach Carrillo here tonight, and I mean, he's he's always around us and at every game. But you know, it was it was great to have a compact venue, and I thought we really fed off that.